Massage the lancing area for 20 seconds or immerse it in warm water to increase blood flow and ensure a more representative sample. Sterilize your finger with an alcohol swab. Be sure that the lancing site is completely dry before testing, as any remaining alcohol may influence the test. Fan dry the lancing site to speed up the drying process. Take out the code key from the test strip vial. Insert the code key into the code key slot. Remove a test strip from the vial and close it immediately. Insert the test strip into the test strip slot. Note the code number that is displayed on the LCD. Be sure that it matches the code number on the test strip vial. Your meter is now ready for a blood sample. Place the tip of the lancing device on the lancing site and press the trigger. Squeeze out a small sample and wipe it away with a clean tissue. This first drop contains interstitial fluid, which significantly affects the results and should not be used for testing. With moderate pressure, squeeze out a second drop large enough to perform the test. The cholesterol test requires a substantial 15 microliter drop of blood. Once the reaction zone is full, hold your finger in place for 20 seconds to ensure that the reaction zone is actually full. Notice that the reaction zone is completely full. Move your finger away laterally to the direction that the blood is applied, as shown here. Properly dispose of used lancets after testing. First, remove the protective cap of the lancing device. Pierce the tip of the lancet into the protective cover. Pull back on the sliding mechanism and push forward on the lancet ejector simultaneously to eject the lancet.